At a glance it's a little difficult to tell these two siblings apart. Both lead away with a moderate bird's beak fairing over a foolish front fender and a steampunk-esque, asymmetrical LED headlight arrangement that I gotta say I really like. Up top, a small windshield deflects the air away from the rider's torso with a vented design that helps the air reintegrate smoothly with the slipstream to reduce the head buffet effect for low fatigue highway speeds. The fairing and fuel tank design do most of the work steering the FGS range into the men's department with a skosh more chunkiness and a tad less swoopiness, but I can't decide if that makes it more manly, or just more German. A tiered saddle replaces last year's bench seat, and it brings a very definite and well-defined break between pilot and pillion with enough fries to give your passenger a chance to see something other than the back of your head. JC handles and flip up. Subframe mount footbags provide support for contact points 1 through 4, and they complete the stock passenger comfort package. At the terminus of the subframe, a rather blocky tail light and pair of LED turn signals take care of the rearward lighting with an interesting function as one of the available options. The dynamic brake light feature flashes when brakes are applied at speeds above around 30 miles per hour, and once you decelerate below the threshold, the hazard lights kick in to make you as visible as possible to the traffic behind you. Pretty cool, but too bad it isn't part of the standard equipment package.